Uh, shall we start? Welcome to our presentation about International Students Project in Metaverse Student Perspective. We are third year undergrad international relations students at Chai University in Turkey. This year we took the visual verse course as an elective course. We conducted this course in partnership with the University of Technology Dublin in Ireland and the US nonprofit Full Brain Health. We have never used Second Life before, and actually, we had no idea about Metaverse or Second Life, and we started using it for the first time with this course. Before we started the lesson, uh, we had to create an avatar. This photo is the first photo of my avatar. While choosing an avatar, I saw fantastic things such as vampires and zombies. And I like it a lot because I'm a person who likes to play online games and watch fantasy movies. But I thought uh, this would be an exaggeration for the lesson, so I chose a simpler character. When the first day of the lesson came, I saw that our teacher Murat Gilmaz had chosen a fantastic avatar, and at the moment I thought uh, that this lesson would be really fun. In the second week of our lesson, we met our fellow students from 2UD and VBH team. Second Life professionals were invited to weekly classes and 2UD and Chai University students were given training on various subjects. Let's take a look at some pictures of lessons. Saitar Madonna gave a lecture on virtual teamwork to us. Deya Lake gave a lecture about sustainability, while Rain Greg taught digital literacy and Toya from the VBH team taught technical subjects. These are just a few examples. We tried to make objects with information we learned in our spare time. We did not deem making objects as a lesson, we deemed uh, it as a hobby because it was really fun. On this slide, you can see a part of my blog. All students create their personal blog pages. Later, we shared articles about the training received on our weekly blog page. As part of our final project, we prepared a presentation with the sustainability dam and it three pillars. We were divided into six separate groups with Turkish and Irish students. In line with the topics given to us, we gave information about the sustainable development goals and explained what can be done in the metaverse for these goals. Let's look at some details. We received training on how to use speakeasy, prosematic and note card giver that we can use during the presentation. We came together as group members in Second Life during three hours and worked on our presentation. I was a red team member and the topic was society. Using the information we have obtained, we have designed our presentation area in accordance with the subject we have in a secret. While I was trying to design during an off lesson hour, a great team member, an Irish student, Ronaldo, suggested me to use CR markets. 
After entering the sale market, I was very surprised because everything was designed down to the smallest detail. Thanks to Ronaldo, I started using objects from sale market. I designed our presentation area to be two floors. On the first floor, uh, we have section that we designed with objects that reflect our topic. For example, we have a hospital room that reflects the purpose of quality, health and quality of life. The second floor was our presentation area and we put parasomatic and note card giver star. In line with the UN Sustainable Development Goals, we tried to produce solutions using the metaverse. My topic was no poverty. In my research, I saw a very interesting news. Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey sold his first tweet as an NFT for $2.9 million. Uh, with the intention of donating the sum give directly. Then I thought we can create and sell NFTs that will attract people's attention and then donate their income. My other idea is we can create a performance hall that will always be active in realm of Second Life, empowering people living in poverty and their organizations. In this hall, with tickets concerts, stand-up shows and painting exhibition can be held every day of the week. We can also donate general money from these tickets to people in need. When the presentation day came, each group made their presentation in turn. After finishing our final project, Turkish violinist Fly Kugin gave us an amazing performance. We are set to come to the end of our lesson. In addition, by meeting certain qualifications in Second Life throughout the semester, we were entitled to receive the Digital Metaverse Certificate signed by Chao University to UD and BBH. It is very important for our CV. Thanks to Wisdom Seeker, Toya, Fran, we experienced different lands and they made us even more interested in Second Life. In our free times, we discovered various landmarks such as jazz and blues bar, we listed music and dance and played games in Plainlands and met new people. We realized that there is nothing we can do that we want in Second Life. Second Life knows no limits. Now I want to show you some of my avatars. I'm often changing the image of my avatar with free items that I find in CL markets and some event gifts. It is very enjoyable for me. Every time you see me, you will probably see me in a different quiz because I always wear different items. Thanks to the Visual Verse course, uh, we had the opportunity to get to know the Metaverse technology and we develop ourselves in this technology. We had to change the practical English while communicating with our Irish teammates. In this progress, we learned how teamwork is carried out and our ability to communicate correctly has improved. In addition, it helped us a lot of overcoming problems, such as speaking in front of a crowd. I was so embarrassed to speak English to people, but thanks to Second Life, I overcame this fear day by day. There was a good cultural exchange between us as we collaborated with the people from different cultures. In short, 
This course increase our social skills and develop our region. Even we have come to the end of our lesson, uh, we will always continue to your second slide and do our best to bring people into the world of the metaverse. We have come to the end of our lesson, but I am helping other students who are taking this lesson. Thanks to Oliver Three Light us for helping us to prepare presentation and thank you for your listening to us. Uh, and also, if you want to see the presentation earlier which we designed, I can send a landmark and if there is a question, please ask by writing. Thanks for your listening. Okay, uh, I will give some work. Uh, if there is a question, please ask by writing. Uh, speaking in front, uh, I think. Uh, I'm a shy person, but uh, I increase this um, skill. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, Edith Helderman have a question. What skills have you gained that prepare your for life beyond university and I want to uh, ask for this question uh, I realize that socializing with people can happen from uh, far away uh, other than just going out or drinking coffee and it really improved my uh, social skill in uh, second life Uh, I think a lot of things. Uh, let me explain. Uh, most interesting things. Uh, what surprised you most about your time in Second Life? Uh, Turkish violinist Fly Kogin was guest uh, of our lesson and told her own life story. She is a music teacher. Uh, she said they discovered Second Life and uh, earn money by playing the violin in Second Life and also she's uh, improved every uh, improved her English and make very good friendship. It's very uh, interesting for me. Uh, and John O'Connor asked a question, what surprised I explained it. Uh, I'm really surprised that so many people have such a great time here and there's so much to do in Second Life. It is really beautiful and fun world, I think. And also, uh, I was traveling in the land uh, again and I saw people who had improved their avatars a lot. Uh, they were almost real. I found the items that are dot out to the small, small details, uh, it's very interesting for me. Uh, 
um, what did you wish about your experience after it was over? Uh, I wish everyone your second life. <laughs> Uh, did the second life experience encourage you to ever travel in real life? Uh, I want to go islands. <laughs> Because Irish uh, students um, explains me some things, uh, and uh, I really want to go islands. What would you advise the new students that you are help uh, you are helping? Um, I suggest uh, they should uh, listen to the teachers um, <laughs> and try to create uh, avatars, um, objects. Uh, I want to answer question, uh, Shelia Yoshikiwa. Uh, did you talk to your friends about Second Life? I mean, friends who were not in Second Life. If you did, uh, did they understand why you like Second Life? Uh, I talked a lot with my friends about it because we are interested in kinds of work as a group uh, and they appreciate us a lot for what we did and uh, they want to uh, join uh, this world. You are welcome. Thank you for your question. Uh, is your experience in CI different than other forms of online communication and collaborating? Uh, with a conference like Zoom, if so, how? <laughs> uh, definitely different. Uh, second life, uh, like a real life, uh, you can talk, uh, you can show something, that's why. Uh, sorry. Jane Jetson, uh, is your experience in your second life than other forms of online communication and collaboration, uh, like Zoom? If so, how? Uh, I think it is definitely different because uh, it's like we are living in a very different world here. And this world is uh, really uh, realistic. Uh, it's uh, extreme. Um, and I want to uh, live uh, this world. How many hours do you spend in Seattle? Uh, sorry. Have you taken more than one class in Second Life? Uh, about four months, uh, two or three hours a week. Uh, how many hours do you spend in Seattle every week? Uh, how do you fit that time into your uh, business study? Uh, I spend uh, time one or two hours in a day. Uh, it's very good for me because uh, I'm going, uh, I use Second Life for uh, social. Uh, meet uh, with people.
and I want to uh, answer this question. Uh, I spent uh, four or five hours a week here, and I seriously don't understand how the uh, time passes, and it doesn't cause any difficulties in my weekly schedule. Uh, if I'm working and not a student, uh, this time would be uh, much longer, I guess. Um, how would you encourage other students to do all of us in second life? Um, showing them our work, uh, show our music lands, uh, game lands. And I can convey with my experience that uh, we will have a great time in this world, uh, we'll have fun dance and have, pe have people uh, at the same time. Uh, the Second Life is a really um, helpful um, app, I guess. Um, thank you, Mr. I'm also I am an assistant for the students of China University for the course of the Visual World. I'm trying to help a call to my own experience, um, mostly about creating and on a look. If I say about my uh, difficulties, uh, the only difficulty was the language problem, in my opinion. English is our second uh, language, so we may not able to understand quickly what is being uh, said or respond immediately. That's why we agreed by uh, correspondence most of the time, uh, so we could communicate better. And yes, we both uh, get the master certificate of what a better word. Okay, well. This is our uh, certificate. Uh, And side arm have a question. Um, what uh, speaking uh, English taught you? Uh, I'm very happy to communicate with you in this way right now. As you can uh, see, I can have a good time with many different people in a country. Uh, I'm glad I'm learning English. So uh, it is really a good experience. And also, being able to speak English is important for everyone, uh, especially in the uh, business world. And I think my English is not very good, so sorry if you don't understand me. <laughs> yes, me too. We're still trying to uh, learn. Actually, we can understand easily, uh, but uh, we can't uh, speak very well. It's um, 
Turkish citizens problem. <laughs> Uh, thanks to Second Life, we are uh, improving it. Um, we have chance to practice uh, like this. <laughs> we try to uh, speak people. Uh, Angelica mm -hmm. have a question. Do you find it easy to make new friends here in Second Life uh, being a non-native speaker? I sometimes find it difficult to make new friends. Uh, yes, there were uh, times when we had difficulties, uh, but making friends here mm -hmm. is much easier than in real life. Uh, sometimes we are using uh, translate. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, it is Easy, I think. Uh, it's my comment. And every people in very kind in Second Life, uh, I think. I can uh, make a friend easily. I show my uh, friends uh, some lands, like um, music lands, game lands, they are very enjoyable. But Jane have question where in Second Life would you like to explore next? Uh, I don't uh, because uh, it is I think endless. Uh, every day uh, I explore a new land, so uh, I don't know uh, what I have to do. And also uh, in future. I will. I would like to work in environments like Second Life. I deem it is uh, not work. It's um, enjoyable things for me. Uh, Bet says I recommend Caledon for exploring. Uh, if you want, uh, we can uh, do together. Uh, and also, uh, we have a lesson called uh, social moments in real life, and we have to choose a social moments and make a presentation. So I choose Black Lives Matter. Um, in our presentation, uh, we also need to talk about its import impact on social media. So I started looking for suitable lands to show people Second Life to, and I, I want to show people Second Life and learn. Uh, and I found the Wall of Freedom lands. It was covered with posters and objects about human rights uh, all over the lands. Uh, I like it very much. Uh, I re recommended everyone uh, to see this land. I'm afraid.
Thank you for the Thank show. you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for your uh, question. Okay. 